All right, welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you probably one of the most important things that you're going to need to know how to use in Pages. So I've already got a document open like before, just still the first draft to our document. So let's say um, you were messing around and you had typed a bunch of nonsense. See, I'm just kind of going like crazy. I'll double tap some stuff. I'll take some sections out, highlight whole sections, delete them out. And so, as you can see now, I've got a bunch of nonsense in my pages document. And let's say, like, for instance, you had an important work document open or a, a class document and your pet or your, let's say, a cat came over and was walking across your iPad and was able to press the buttons or, like, your, a, a kid that you were babysitting or maybe your own child got a hold of your iPad and opened up a document and started messing around with it. Now, there's two different ways to do it. The easiest... Well, I'll show you the first one. You can actually shake it. You won't be able to see me shaking my device, but when you shake it, it actually brings up the undo tab. And this is actually an, a full iOS uh, app-wide, mostly, you will even use it on other apps that don't that aren't Apple's apps. But you can click undo right then and there. It just does one thing, but the easiest way and the best way in pages is see up here next to documents, the undo button, you can just start clicking undo and it will take you back to where you were last at. See how it's just removing sections as we go? It's going to automatically bring up the text, the the, the, the typewriter or the, the keyboard, but you can just click, keep clicking undo. And what's cool is once you get back to the beginning, see how it's all back to normal? I mean, you won't really notice it because this is not your document, but now when you click undo, see how undo is unhighlighted anymore? Now you can click redo. So you can actually go back through and see what you did. So this is great when you're trying to figure out what looks good. Let's say you're creating a resume or let's say you're doing like a kind of a picture, uh, a, a uh, let's say a, a word processing document that has a lot of pictures and things like that and you're kind of messing with the format and stuff like that you can redo and undo as much as you want going back to the last time you had that document open or last time it's saved uh, it should automatically say it should save automatically of course but when you're going back and through this stuff you can it's really cool to be able to go through and just kind of see what's like what you like better or if you just kind of really screwed something up and you just need to go back as much as possible that's the best way to do it so if you guys have any questions uh, like before send us an email at info at your Mac helpers .com, or go to Facebook and post a message on our wall and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and that's facebook.com slash Mac helpers thank you